I'm going to do a number of videos on integration. So here, this is the first question of this is indefinite integration, uh, not the in uh, sorry indefinite integration. Uh, and I'm going to show you how you can check your answer uh, on a graphic calculator. Uh, and most of the questions would be with a U substitution. So when you have an integral like this, uh, integrate or uh, integral of x times square root of 2x plus 1 dx. Okay, so one of the ways of integrating which is really helpful is to do a U substitution. So as a rule of a thumb, the most complicated part of the function, you uh, do the U substitution. So what it means is, I'm going to substitute this as 2x plus, sorry, U as 2x plus 1. So I'm going to say let U is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay, so if you differentiate both sides, this implies du by dx is equal to 2. So we want to change everything in terms of u. So can I write so if dx in terms of du? So this implies if you divide both sides by half, I can say half du is equal to dx. Okay, so this is, I have changed my dx in, in half du. This is in u. Now I want to write x in terms of u. So from this, can I say u minus 1? is equal to 2x and from this I can say if you divide both sides by 2 u minus 1 over 2 is equal to x okay so now this has become so you got you have done the u substitution so you have you can substitute x as this u minus 1 over 2 uh, 2x plus 1 as u and dx as half du so I'll change color now let me use a brighter color. So this changes. Therefore, now the whole thing changes to integration of x. What is x? x is u minus 1 over 2 times. This can be written as u to the power half times dx is half du. So everything has changed in terms of u. So this half and this half. Uh, becomes one quarter integration of u to the power half times u minus 1 du. Now expanding the bracket, so this becomes therefore one quarter uh, integration of, so this is u to the power 1. So u to the power half times u to the power 1 is u to the power 3 halves. I hope that's clear, minus u to the power half du. So for calculus student, these things should be not difficult, okay? So now you have to integrate both of them. So when you're integrating, you should know that you increase the power by 1 and divide by the same power. So this becomes u to the power. Uh, 3 halves plus 1 is 5 halves over 2 halves, sorry, over 5 half over 5 half minus u to the power 3 halves over 3 halves. Okay. Plus c, of course, the constant of integration. Now, so this becomes, therefore, so this is 1 quarter times, so this is dividing by 2 phi half is same as multiplying by 2 fifth times u to the power 2.5 minus two-thirds of u to the power 1.5 plus c. So now if you distribute or if you expand with half, so one quarter times two-fifth is two-twenties. Okay, and two-twenty is same as one-tenth. Okay, so it's one-tenth times u to the power two-fifth, two-point-five, sorry, minus multiplying with this is one quarter times two thirds is two twelfths. Okay, two twelfths is same as one sixth. One sixth times u to the power one point five plus c. Now c is an arbitrary constant. So you multi you can multiply with one quarter, but the ultimately that is a constant. So therefore, you can say 
now you have to put this back in terms of u, sorry, in terms of x. Now for integration of x times square root of 2x plus 1 dx is 1 tenth times uh, u is 2x plus 1. So this is 2x plus 1 to the power 2.5 minus 1 sixth times 2x plus 1 to the power 1.5 plus c. So this is fine, but uh, as students, it's always good to check whether the integration or the integral is right. Okay, now you've got a tool to check your integration, but you are, have to be a bit cheeky. Uh, we are being a bit cunning here. So I'll tell you what that means is, the calculator gives you the definite integral of any integral. Okay. So how do I do that? How do I check my answer? That's a big thing. So I'll use a different color now. So on GC, I'm writing graphic calculator, definite, uh, definite integration between 0 to 1. Now, you have to be careful. You have to take the values where the function is defined. So 0 and 1 are very neat numbers and it's easy to compute. Okay, now this function is defined between 0 and 1, so I'm taking between 0 and 1. So definite integration of this function x times square root of x plus 1 dx on a calculator. How do you do that on a calculator? So this is a calculator. So go to your run menu and then go to option and then under F4 you got calculus. Okay. So if you press uh, integration and you have type in x times, this is 2x plus 1 raised to, this is 0 0.5. Okay, square root is raised to half. And I'm finding the integral, between, or definite integral between 0 comma 1. This is how you find the definite integral. This is just to check my answer. So it says it is 0 0.5. Nine, sorry, 0 0.7594. Okay, or 95. I'll write 0 0.75 dot dot. So, this on a calculator it says it's 0 0.75. I'm not rounding it. Okay, whatever that number is. Now, how do I do that on a? How do I check whether this can be obtained here? So, if this is what the calculator tells me, I say that if I put, if I find the definite integral a definite integration of this 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 number should match up with this okay so that's what i'm saying so that let me put it slightly up okay therefore what i'm saying is integ definite integration of 0 to 1 of this function square root of 2x plus 1 dx should be the same thing okay let me put it slightly up so this should be of 1 tenth of 2x plus 1 this is a very good good way to check your answer because at times students think they've got the right answer but they don't have any strategy to check whether what they've got is right or wrong 1.5 now constant you don't need to put uh, I hope you understand when you're doing definite integration constant cancels out so I'm finding the definite equation between 0 to 1 so let me do it so this is we have to put 1, so this is 1 tenth of, if you put 1, if you put 1 in this, that is 2 times 1 is 2, so this is 3, raised to 2.5 minus 1 sixth of, again 3 to the power 1.5, and from this you have to take away, you have to put 0 back, so if you put 0, this is 1 tenth of, this becomes 0, so that is 1 to the power, 2.5 minus 1 sixth of 1 to the power 1.5 1.5 okay so now this becomes I'll write it here so this is uh, yeah so now to use a calculator so let me bring the calculator here so this is 3 3 raised to 2.5 you have to be careful divide by 10 Okay, 
minus 3 raised to 1.5 divided by 6. Okay, so that's this bracket. That's this number. Now this is 1 raised to 2.5 is 1 and 1 raised to 1.5 is also 1. So this is nothing but 1 tenth take away 1 6. So minus, I'll bracket it, 1 ABC 10 minus 1 ABC 6. We can do without the calculator this part of course. Now this will be too tedious. So can you see you got the same number, the same answer. So this way you can be conf you can be sure or you can be confident that the integration that you've got is uh, right. Okay, and you can give yourself say two smiley faces. Okay, so I want you to do this integration yourself. Okay, I'll come back. I will, I'll hopefully do this and this question. Okay, I want I would like you to look at these two questions. And I would like you to check your answer like this, okay, using your graphic calculator. If you are allowed graphic calculator, you can always check your answer. Okay, see you in the next video.